Welcome, this is Carrie Schell from On Point Quilter. I have been working on my Critter Motifs quilt, which is going to have over 30 blocks that I've drawn in EQ8. In this tutorial, I'll share how I went from EQ8 to creating SVG files, which are necessary to cut out the blocks on an electronic cutting system. In Electric Quilt, I've opened my Critter Motifs project and I'm going to view my project sketchbook and I'm going to find my quilt and select edit. I demonstrated how to draw this quilt on the May 2nd blog post. Now let's turn one of the blocks into an SVG file. This will allow you to cut the block using an electronic cutting system. The first thing I want to do is change the quilt from fabrics to colors. The fastest way I have found to do that is to go to Fabric Tools, select Randomize, under Randomize select Map to Colors and click on the quilt. Now every block is done just in colors. Then go to Print and Export, select Layer 2 and select the fish. We're going to print the block to a PDF writer. To change your printer, select File, followed by Print Setup. In the drop-down box, select a PDF writer. I like to use the Cute PDF Writer since it was a free one and easy to install. Then select OK. Under Print Patterns, select Block. Select Showing Fabrics. Go to Options and select Print Block Outline, but turn off Print Patch Line. You can do a preview to see what it's going to look like, and then go ahead and print. Select a location to save. I chose to create a Critters subfile under my EQ8 images, and I'm going to call this uh, Fish1 and select Save, and note that it's saving as a PDF file. Now I want to actually save another version. Select Block again, and under Options, I'm going to select Print Patch Outline as well as Print Block Outline. And then you can do a preview. You can see the one thing that I'm getting here that I like are the lines that I've drawn in the fins. So I'm going to go ahead and print that and I'm going to call this one Fish2 and select Save. Here is my magic for converting a PDF into an SVG file and I'm going to use Inkscape which is vector based software. You can download this for free on the internet and I'm going to select File Open. In the drop-down, you'll want to locate the PDF file you saved in Electric Quilt. And I'm going to select the Fish 1 document and select Open. Under the PDF Import Settings, select OK. With the Select tool, which is the arrow on the left, select the document. The large dotted box tells me that everything in my document is grouped. So to delete header and footer information, we're going to need to ungroup, and we do that by selecting Object followed by Ungroup. Now we can see dotted lines around each section. Select and delete any header footer information. Next, select the block outline. Then select a color from the color palette at the bottom. Then select Object and select Lower to Bottom. The next steps are only necessary if you want to do a draw and cut. Select File, Import, and select Fish Number 2 and select Open. Then select OK. Now we're not seeing the outlines, but they are there. Uh, so we're going to have to make those visible. But let's start by um, undoing the ungroup. So we will select our fish number two and select Object Ungroup. Select the box with header footer information 
and select Delete. Now drag a box to select everything on the right and select Object, Fill and Stroke. This will open the Fill and Stroke panel window. There is an option called Stroke Style. Change the width to 5 pixels. And then I will just click on the workspace and now we are able to see all of our lines. So we can go ahead and close. Note that for each shape that we drew in Electric Quilt, we actually have two elements. We have a fill element and we have a stroke element. This is why I prefer to use the PDF without the patch outlines for basic cutting. Using the Select tool, select and delete everything other than the fins. Now we can rake a box and anything that we touch with the box we can also select and delete. Then select and delete the outline for each of the fins. To zoom in I use the control key on my keyboard and the scroll key on my mouse. Drag a box over all of the top fin units and select Object Group. Then drag a box over the, all of the units in the lower fin and do Object Group. With the Select tool, now select the two fins on the left and select a different color. Move the fins on the right to overlap the fins for the fish on the left. Select the green fin group and select Object Lower to Bottom. And repeat for the upper green fin. And now I can select the blue patches and delete. And I will select the background, do an object lower to bottom. Select the lower fin group and select object raise to top. With the select tool drag a box over everything and select path Object to Path. Now I'm going to do a file, Save As, and I'm going to label this Fish1, but I'm going to use the type SVG and select Save. For additional tips and techniques, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com.